Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Try It or Buy It, the series where I look at samples I get and tell you if I think it's worth giving them a try or giving them a buy. So today we have the This Works uh, Time for Sleep spray. So I have seen this, um, I think I saw it at a hotel once, they give it to you at a hotel. Um, and I thought that was really cool and a good idea for a hotel. Smart for these people to get that contract. Anyway, uh, this is the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. And what it claims to do is sort of help you sleep by giving you um, a good night's sleep. So it says, a super blend of true lavender, wild chamomile, and vetivert. Not sure what that is. Fall asleep faster, naturally, and wake up refreshed. So in the sample, you get this little spray. And, you know, it's a reasonable size spray. You can try this a few times. Um, and it basically just says on it, spray onto pillow before bedtime. So I have tried this a couple of times. So you basically spray this onto your pillow before bedtime. My recommendation is spray it on about 15 minutes before you're actually gonna lie down in bed so that the spray has time to evaporate a little bit. So like the moisture in the spray has time to evaporate so that you're not actually putting your head on a damp pillow because that's not, that's not fun. But that being said, it smells really cool, but it is a little bit strong. So you have to decide for yourself if that's something that helps you sleep um, or if you find it distracting, because I could definitely see some people finding it a little bit distracting. But you basically, um, you know, spray it on your pillow. And I think I did two to three sprays, uh, but you might just need one actually. Maybe that's my problem and it was a little too strong. I, I think I, I do like it, but it takes a little bit getting used to because you definitely can smell it. Again, the point. But I think this is gonna be best for people who know that they love this combination of uh, things that are in it. The chamomile, lavender, and vetiver. And I don't know what vetiver is. But chamomile and lavender, I know lavender, I've tried stuff in the past and I do really like it. I find it very calming. If I could describe this, this smell, it would basically be like if you go past one of those stores in the mall that sells like mists or you know natural lotions or something kind of like almost like how like very calming but but still strong like it's it's definitely not there's no peppermint in this but it's definitely a stronger smell i think because scents are so personalized and people sometimes have very strong reactions to smell or very strong opinions on what they like what they don't like what they associate it with you know if you associate lavender with going to work somewhere that you didn't like going to work, lavender is not going to be a great scent for you. So I'm a big believer in trying out scents before you buy. So because of that, I would say give this a try before you decide if you wanna buy. So that's it for this episode of Try It or Buy It, and I look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.